I'm Xiang Qian, a senior investigator and the chief of the laboratory of molecular imaging and nanomedicine, National Institute of Biomedical Imaging and Bioengineering, National Institutes of Health. Hi, my name is Peng Huan. I'm a postdoc fellow at the NIH. I will soon become a faculty member at the Department of Biomedical Engineering in Shenzhen University. My research is focused on cancer synoptics and biomaterials. We are happy to share with you our recent work published in ACES Nano to create tumor-specific nanofibers doped with endocyanin green ICG for use as cancer theranostics. Theranostics, as you may already know, are materials that have both therapeutic and diagnostic properties. Our approach uses a tumor's own phosphatase to trigger assembly of nanofibers. Nanodrug delivery system have been investigated for three decades. However, their delivery efficiency and treatment efficacy remain suboptimal due to the unintended high uptake by the res reached organs such as the liver, spleen, and so on. In this study, we provide a novel concept of tumor-specific formation of nanoparticles that can be used for imaging and therapy. This method avoids unintended uptake in RES-rich organs and simultaneously enhances accumulation and retention in the tumor. This diagram shows the principle of enzyme-triggered supramolecular co-assembly. The short peptide in solution is first dephosphorylated and converted to a hydrogelator in the presence of a tumor's alkaline phosphatase. These hydrogelators further grow into nanofibers over time. ICG dye molecules, on the other hand, can be doped into the nanofibers by G aggregation, resulting in significant redshift and enhanced near infrared absorption, and thus improved photoacoustic and photothermal properties. Our ALP positive halo tumor model was used in one experiment into wireless injection of free ICG net to initial tumor accumulation due to the tumor leaky vascular. Most of free ICG was quickly taken out by the liver within 30 minutes and then is created by the binary system within 5 hours. When the mice was co-injected with the ICG and phosphated peptide, the following signal and the tumor side increased over time and lasted for up to 2 weeks. In comparison, we also injected the phosphate inhibitor before the admission of the ICG and the peptide. The inhibitor effectively reduced the tumor forensic signal, suggesting the formation of the supramolecular self-assemble was tumor ALP specific. Its vivo forensic imaging of the tumor and the major organs also confirm our in vivo results. The sustained retention of endocyanin green dyes at the tumor site, but not elsewhere in the body, can find applications in photoacoustic imaging and photothermal therapy. The ICG nanofiber injected mice had a much stronger photoacoustic signal than the mice injected with free ICG dye molecules. Also, the ICG nanofiber group had complete tumor elimination upon laser irradiation, while the control group with free ICG dye molecules and laser irradiation did not inhibit tumor growth. In conclusion, we have developed in situ tumor specific formation of enzyme instructed supermolecular self symbol that enrich ICG dye for tumor identity, forms, and photocoustic imaging to guide the photosomal survey. Due to the intermolecular interaction between peptide and ICG, ICG molecules adopted into the large fiber, which show enhanced near infrared absorbance, partially quenched forms emission, and the unique photocoustic and photosomal properties. The institute Tumor specific formation of the large particle can improve the tumor accumulation and retention and avoid the uptake or retention by the liver and spleen. ICG has been approved for clinical use, so our formulation of including a simple peptide excipient that form nanoparticles in situ in the tumor area could have rapid clinical translation for patient use. This study is important because it provides a novel concept of tumor-specific formation of nanoparticles that can be applied to deliver diagnostic and therapeutic agents. Because it avoids uptake and retention 
in areas rich organs and because it paves a way toward personalized medicine by endogenous or exogenous stimulus-instructed formation of nanostructures.